Nerf Edgar. Enough said. Yes, let's nerf the worst brawler in the game. <laughs> Edgar single-handedly made this person give the game a one-star review. So yeah, ladies and gents, today we are going to be reading a bunch of one-star reviews that I found on the App Store for Brawl Stars. I'm expecting that a lot of these are going to be really unhinged and probably posted by 10-year-olds. So if you're excited to see some 10-year-olds get angry, then subscribe to the channel. All right, here we go. What can I find? One star. No. No. Matchmaking is awful. Servers always laggy, even when next to a router. Bots everywhere. There is one decent point here. The matchmaking isn't really the best, but I'm pretty sure they're going to work on that in the future. But you lagging, especially when you're right next to your router, just means that you have bad internet. I don't remember the last time I lagged in Brawl Stars for more than like a second in the past year because I got good internet. Another one about the matchmaking system. Okay, this might be a recurring theme, so I'm not even going to read those. No balance. One star. No balance. I think that Brawl Stars right now is more balanced than it's ever been. Maybe there's some brawlers that are top in the meta, but there is the issue with like tanks and short range brawlers because they're bad right now. But I wouldn't say that the meta is like terrible right now. I'm seeing a bunch of different brawlers being played in Power League and it's pretty diverse. Worst game, not gonna lie. You queue up with people with the worst randoms. One out of every three games. Okay, yeah, I get it. You get bad randoms, but that literally happens in any game ever. How does you having bad teammates warrant a one-star review? I could go play League of Legends right now and I could totally stomp my lane, but then one of my teammates could just completely feed theirs and then I would still lose. So should I rate League of Legends or Valorant or anything else one star because I have bad teammates? A lot of these that I'm seeing are people saying that they have bad internet. <laughs> the game ran like garbage on my Galette Note 20 5G, and now it runs like garbage on my iPhone 13 Max Pro. I just don't think you're telling the truth, <laughs> unless you have bad internet and you're talking about lag. Get better internet if you can afford that phone. Here's one that's kind of decent. I hope this game could focus on solo players teaming up. I mean, yeah, I agree. Teaming is a huge issue. Is it really warranting one star? Not really, because there's so many other modes in the game, but I mean, when solo showdown is the only available solo mode, then yeah, I can see this. That's also why I decide to not push my brawlers up, because I don't want to fight teamers. It's really boring. Does it really warrant one star though? I don't know. This game took 60 gems from my account and apparently I only get one mega box. The thing that's weird is I never even clicked on purchasing any items. Give my 60 gems back. I'm pretty sure this person misclicked and accidentally picked the mega box deal thing that shows up in the shop where you can get it for like 60 instead of 80 gems and therefore that warrants a one star review. <laughs> Brawl Stars, your skill based matchmaking is not good and your matchmaking itself, I'm playing a brawl under 100 trophies and I'm playing with real people i should be playing with bots not real people also bb is way too op she fast has too good of a range attack and overall op i don't remember the last time i saw somebody complaining about bb <laughs> and the speed on the brawlers and so stupid it says they're fast but they're just as slow as 8-bit like seriously okay dude this, this person has literally never played the game before because 8-bit if you can't tell the difference between 8-bit and somebody else there's a problem here brawl stars there are way too much flaws that you need to fix i'm literally walking and when for some reason i run the other way where i'm trying to run your game is literally garbage off the street worst game literally the worst game with the worst controls and the worst issues okay find me a mobile game with better controls than brawl stars i guarantee you there's not a single one i've tried so many other games on mobile all of them have really bad controls brawl stars seamless controls for the most part like brawl stars has the most responsive and just the best controls i've ever had in a mobile game and that's why i don't play any other mobile games because most of the mobile games that people suggest like PUBG Mobile, literally COD Mobile, anything, the controls, I do not like them. They're just so unintuitive and so unresponsive sometimes and just bad. Brawl Stars has insanely good controls. Buzz is too OP. Okay, they're complaining about Buzz now. He can literally get his super as soon as he uses it. Way too OP. The length or his super, if unfair, and the facts he doesn't have to attack and still get it is was too op. OP. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but um, that's like one of 20 brawlers that can get their super without attacking anybody. <laughs> also, the chances of getting a brawl is so low, you shouldn't even try. You practically have to spend hundreds of dollars to at least get two brawlers. Dead game. <laughs> yeah, Brawl Stars is going to remove the luck feature or something. They mentioned that in the latest Brawl Talk, but it's not that hard to get one brawler. I know that legendaries are extremely hard to get, but you could, you'll get a brawler eventually. Like, I bet the guy who wrote this review has at least 20 brawlers. Worst matchmaking systems on the planet. Another match?
matchmaking one. I can't win a single match after playing for 30 minutes, being paired against opponents who can kill me in one move, but I can't even hurt them after hitting them three times. Overall, horrible skill-based matchmaking system. It's not even based off that. But at the same time, it kind of sounds like a skill issue. Or you're playing Poco or something before he got buffed. Stop putting 20,000 plus trophy players with noobs. I actually agree with this one because if you guys watched one of my uh, challenge videos, I think I did the robot challenge or something. I am at like 30k trophies and I had somebody on my team who had like 200 trophies and then I had somebody with like 800, somebody with 500 and I literally lost the challenge because all of my teammates had like less than a thousand trophies and all my enemies were super high trophies. So I actually agree with this one. They need to stop that because I literally had no chance to beat the challenge because of my teammates. They literally just started playing the game. Somebody posted a review about the bot challenge and I literally just talked about it. Whoever came up with the idea to do those bot challenges needs to be fired immediately. It's so unfair because whichever team the giant bot goes after is going to lose. It's completely bogus. Please fire whoever came up with such an idiotic idea. Okay, relax. I mean, I definitely think that the bot challenge was pretty one-sided, especially because of my teammates, but uh, you literally get free rewards. Nobody's making you play the challenge. Most of the time, I don't even play challenges, but I decided to do them recently because why not? iPhone 13 Pro Max. So much lag and latency. So much time between release of finger and when the shot actually registers. This is literally you having bad internet. Oh my god, this one is insane. <laughs> you know, this is some nine-year-old fuming because he died to a Frank in one hit with this gadget. I have been playing this game for three years and nothing good has changed. I never get good brawlers. I never get rare or good rewards. And this game is so hard. It's impossible to play. I always die. Don't download this game ever. Not worth of your time. And Supercell, if you're reading this, then go bankrupt. Angry emoji, 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 down thumb emoji, down thumb emoji, down thumb emoji, down thumb emoji. I like this review. Not balanced, not tested, not user friendly, only pay to win, no attention to players' comments and mistakes made, only money grab game deleted. I could argue that this game is extremely balanced right now for the most part. Not tested. They literally have us content creators test the game anytime to add new features. They have several of us test it. And when we said that Otis was too strong, they nerfed him to the ground. <laughs> Not user friendly. How? Literally how? Most responsive controls out of any mobile game I've ever played, but it's not user friendly. Like what is it? What do they mean by not user friendly? Only pay to win. Yet there's people getting rank 35s at power level one. Just want to point that out. No attention to players' comments and mistakes made. Their last Brawl Talk, which is before this review was posted, was literally them talking to the community about what they're going to do for like the next year on this game. And again, I would like to point out, when us content creators and people alike were saying that Otis seemed too strong, they nerfed him to the ground immediately before releasing him. I just want to point that out. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> I have been banned for like four years. Why? Pay to play. They make you buy Crow and Leon. I don't think this person realizes that you can get them without buying them. It might just take a while but you can <laughs> you should be able to report toxic players that's a good point which they're gonna add that eventually so uh maybe you can uh change your review once that actually comes this game is not letting me in how much do you want to bet this was posted during like some maintenance break or something like that <laughs> worst one yet sam is the worst brawler he takes a lot of health i don't know what this means are they angry at sam because he's broken or does this person think that sam is weak because if this person thinks that sam is weak then i have a lot of questions to ask <laughs> just look at this review bring back hunters hunters is the most fun game mode. Bring it back for five stars. <laughs> Supercell takes away your money slash your progression in game slash and your loyalty. Game is fun for a little but Supercell is all about taking your money and not providing any help. Great, great games. Terrible, terrible business. Really sad that a company created for entertaining us creators. Really sad that a company created for entertaining us creates a really bad experience, especially once you've give them money for over 10. What What is this about? How do they take your progression away? You literally can't lose anything once you get it. So what is this review about? <laughs> Supercell takes your money? Just don't spend any money. I'm sorry for the review, but I kind of want my login streak back. This person posted one star because they missed a day in the login review. You literally just have to open the app for one second to get it. Spent over $50 on the game. It's still bunk. I don't know what that means, but I just want to point something out, okay? You can spend like $1,000 on League of Legends and still not have like half the characters. I think I've spent like two grand on League of Legends, which I don't play anymore, and I heavily regret ever spending money on it, but I'm still missing a lot of characters in that game. So is it really that different? I know I'm bringing up League a lot, but as the 
the biggest MOBA. I think it's a good because Brawl Stars is like the biggest mobile beta because Brawl Stars is the biggest mobile MOBA. Okay, there, I finally said it correctly. That took like three tries. Mobile MOBA, mobile MOBA, mobile MOBA, mobile MOBA. This game is useless if it can't fix its own in-game internet problems. It doesn't even deserve a one-star review. Just get better internet. A lot of these people are posting one-star reviews because their own internet is bad. It's kind of wacko mode. Like imagine I'm playing Fortnite and I have like McDonald's Wi-Fi and then I give them a one-star review because I'm lagging. <laughs> At the moment, you can hack any account, absolutely any. You need to do something. I don't think this ever happened did it i don't think this ever happened either way that's gonna do it for this video if you guys enjoyed then slap like slap subscribe if you want to see me do this again then i might do it in like a couple weeks uh some of these reviews are really interesting other ones are actually kind of decent like some of them do make sense I don't think that like one little feature deserves a one star review because the rest of the game is obviously really good, but a lot of them are about their internet. That's what I figured out or about them spending like $20 and then their account not being immediately maxed out or something like that. Either way, I hope you guys have a good night. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.